Karen Bryan for M.A. Heat. I'm here with Kahal Pendred, who is taking on John Howard at UFC 189. Why'd you want to get back in the octagon so quickly? You just fought down in Mexico City at 188. Um, I had a very frustrating fight in, down in Mexico. Uh, I fought an opponent who I thought was a very aggressive and game opponent, and, and on the night, he was anything but. I wanted to make a massive statement in that fight, announced myself to the upper end of the welterweight division. But uh, I was denied that opportunity by you know the way he fought, so I just wanted to get in there as soon as possible again and, and, and make the statement I, I was looking to do. I invested a lot of money in that. You know, like I said in many interviews, I broke even in that fight. I accepted I wasn't going to make money, but I was happy to invest that in my career by uh, by making a statement down in Mexico. And as that didn't happen, uh, I just was determined to get another fight as quick as possible. And certainly it has to help that you've got some of your teammates on this and you're getting the sort of spillover of the Connor effect. Is that a part of why you specifically also wanted to get on this card? Well, I didn't specifically want to get on this card. I, I, I looked at the uh, event schedule for the four weeks after my Mexico fight and there was a hell of a lot of... Um, welterweight away fights, and I knew I think there was 17 fights, so there was um, you know 36 fighters mm -hmm. at welterweight. I knew there would be at least uh, one or two dropouts, and there was. There was Rick Story's uh, opponent, Eric Silva, couldn't get a visa. I uh, announced myself on Twitter for that fight. Rick Story accepted it; he was ready to throw down. Um, but the UFC just rescheduled the Eric Silva fight, so I didn't unfortunately get that. But that would have been a great opportunity as well. I also had. Andrew Craig, who was fighting in San Diego um, against another welterweight, his opponent pulled out with injury. I was keeping an eye on all these things on Twitter and and, uh, and you know websites to see if there was any dropouts. And as soon as I saw it, I would announce myself for the fight. Uh, Andrew Craig accepted the fight as well. Uh, it was in San Diego. I think it's next week. Um, but the, none of those came to fruition and this one happened, this was the best case scenario fighting in uh, the biggest card of the year with you know, two of my teammates, two of my countrymen um, you know, it's an incredible night, there's thousands of Irish flying over here I couldn't, I couldn't have asked for a better scenario Something I wanted to ask you about, you were on BJ Penn's team we know that he's getting inducted into the Hall of Fame what, what was the best thing that you brought you know, out of that experience with him as a martial artist and as a coach for you on this show? Um, I think BJ actually had a talk with me in the first couple of days when I was in there and he told me to, he, you know, he talked about when you first get into to fighting and, and it's just for the love of fighting and um, he told me to embrace that. He said that's what the scenario and tough is like. Um, you know, you're fighting very regularly uh, all the time and, and you're just ready to go at the drop of a hat and he said to embrace what it was like bef before you, you turned professional and were doing camps um, like that. So uh, that was something I embraced and, and, and something I think that has helped me now in taking this short uh, short notice fight. I'm just ready to go whenever. I, I love I love to fight. That's why I started doing this. It's my passion, and uh, I'm getting to do what I love two times in a month. It's it's amazing. Well, you're a bit of a renaissance man, though. You're a, a fighter, a poker player, a writer for the Irish Mirror. How are you pulling all this stuff off? And are you any good at poker? <laughs> well, I won a tournament here yeah, two nights ago. Yeah, so I won a, won a, won a few uh, a few dollars. It was pretty cool, and. Uh, yeah, I really enjoy that. I might, I might actually go down tonight. There's a tournament on it every night at 10 o'clock here, so uh, I might go down and try my, try my luck again. You have a good poker face, a good bluffing face. Uh, yeah, I think some of the fighters, they knew who, or sorry, some of the players knew who he was, and they were a bit intimidated. Maybe didn't want to be too aggressive, and uh, maybe didn't want to uh, to knock me out of the tournament. So that might have been gone for me. <laughs> well, best of luck to you in your fight, and uh, it's great to see you, like you said, in action twice in the same month. Thanks, Karen. Appreciate it.